So there's not been too much news in regards to Bad Wolf's filming of series 14 of Doctor Who, but we did, um, well, some eagle-eyed fans did manage to spot where they were filming in Newport in Wales, and it came with some very interesting photos and some revelations. Now, this is from Twitter, at Whovian underscore fanbase. Um, Jack here sharing photos, uh, collab like photos that have been... Uh, taken from across the Doctor Who Twitter community and all compiled together. And what's most interesting about this is that we've got a brand new outfit for Shooty Gatwa's 15th Doctor. This is notably different from the for, uh, from the costume that we saw in that announcement uh, post, where it is not a, um, a fabric jacket. It seems to be like a, a leather or a pleather one. Uh, he has an undershirt here as well with a zip as well. And also, I I'm presuming that maybe the joke is that they thought that they were going to be uh, arriving in summertime, which might explain why Millie Gibson is wearing such a short skirt here. Uh, but like, shooting out is going to be very, very warm during this outdoor nighttime Welsh filming. But yeah, just look at this awesome costume, and we—he he honestly just looks so cool. And he rocks it so well. Hands in the in the pockets. We've got the the white light of the TARDIS behind him as well. Honestly, this just looks absolutely awesome. So I wanted to mainly just talk about this brand new costume announcement that we've got um, where he's outdoor filming. This is presumably Christmas time as well, a festive special. I'm guessing this might be for the 2024 special because I thought, it was my understanding at least, that they had finished wrapping on the 2023 special a while ago. That would have been block one of filming, wouldn't it? Because they needed to get that wrapped and all ready for... Christmas 2023 and this might be Christmas 2024 we know that uh, come like, like we know that in December of 2022 that Rusty Davis was finishing the writing of the 2024 Christmas special so whether or not that went into production relatively quickly I think it's 2023 Christmas it could be but it, I don't know it, it, for me it just kind of makes more sense for them to finish the Christmas special first and then do series 14 proper like they did with series 2 they filmed the Christmas invasion in like June july august time 2005 for broadcast for that christmas and then after that they started working on series two but yeah either way this looks like it's a christmas special but if it is a christmas special it looks like we're going to be having multiple costumes for shutagawa is this like going to be his first out questions for later but either way, what I'm really, really happy about this um, behind-the-scenes imagery is that it confirms that Shuti Gatwa is going to be in multiple costumes. And one thing that I wanted to sort of break down a little bit, or sort, or sort of explain my rationale, is that I think that during the Peter Capaldi and, to a, a greater extent, the Jodie Whittaker era, that there was a, a case of, like, um, a JNT approach to the wardrobe and the costuming of the Doctor. I honestly think it's so much more refreshing and so be and so much better and more realistic, for lack of a better term, if the Doctor has multiple costumes and has multiple outfits over the course of their lifespan. Now, I was thinking back to prior Doctors, and I thought th this this trend properly started with the JNT era. We've got Peter Davison in the Cricketer's outfit, and that was more or less what he had for the entirety of his three seasons seasons with the exception of the odd variants like in planet of fire where he's just got the undershirt on but also we've got the colin baker era where he has that garish coat for the duration with the exception of when he's out in spain for the two doctors and also the seventh doctor as well he had the question mark jumper and everything with the exception of ghost light where he just puts on a big brown coat but that wasn't even meant to be part of the plan they were just outside it was winter it was cold sylvester mccoy wanted a coat on for filming and just decided to keep his normal coat on so that's how he wore that for ghost light not ghost light the curse of fenric and I was even thinking, did this stretch back to the fourth Doctor? But I found this tier list on tiermaker.com, uh, made by All of Who, uh, which broke down all of the fourth Doctor costumes, and he had way more variants than I thought he did. There's obviously ones that you can sort of dismiss out of hand, like the Viking costume, the clown, and everything else that he wore in Robot, and you can kind of dismiss ones which are obviously meant to be temporary, like when he's in the, the, the prison outfit in Genesis of the Dalek, and stuff 
and also um, th these ones from like the wilderness years as well but there's way more costumes during the Tom Baker era than I remember there's obviously the main ones there's the main hat and scarf combination here and you've also got the uh, this is like the John Nathan Turner the final season one but there are some um, some subtle variants as well you do have the terror of the Zygons one you've got the talent of Wen Chiang where he's got the Deerstalker going very Sherlock Holmes but there are a lot of variants here to work with some very memorable ones as well I love the City of Death outfit that he's got. He also looks awesome in the Gallifreyan robes from the Deadly Assassin. You've got the Seeds of Doom. Was the Seeds of Death? I forget. So, so many seeds. You, basically, what I'm trying to say is that even Tom Baker, where, where the trend of a costume doctor really started, he still has all of these variants and these alternative versions. And I think that Shutagawa is maybe going for a Tom Baker approach to the costume. I know some people on Twitter as well were saying, I'm so glad we're getting away from the Russell T Seeds of Doom is Tom Seas of Death is Charlton. Always get those mixed up. Thank you, chat, for the correction. Um, yeah, I, I saw some people saying, oh, I'm so glad we're getting away from the Russ T. Davis costume stuff. And I agree, disagree. Like, Christopher Eccleston had the one costume throughout his tenure, just the leather jacket. I think he had a different undershirt at one point but also like david tennant even he had variants like there are there is of course the 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 james bond suit and tie from the lazarus experiment and whenever he wears the orange space suit in like 42 and the waters of mars but he had the blue jacket he had the brown jacket as well and you could even mix it up where he's got the big brown coat on as well i think that Tennant could have maybe benefited from one or two more alternative costumes but i, I think tennant struck he, he struck a pretty good balance overall but for Shooty, he's been filming for, what, three production blocks so far? This is his second outfit already? I think that's very, very promising. I think it's good that cosplayers have many options to work with. I think, obviously when they with a show like doctor who some consideration is given to cosplayers to an extent like obviously the the principal thing what you've got to what you've got to work on when you're a costume designer on a show like doctor who is practicality for the actor and also to have it be an extension of the character's personality and their persona which i think you know most doctor outfits do a really good job at at getting across but it also, I'm sure that they do have some consideration towards cosplayers. Is this something that cosplayers are able to buy? Is this something that they're able to replicate? Even if it's not a direct 100% copy, you're able to get the spirit of the costume. I believe it was Matt Smith who, um, when he was going through his costume, he said that he wanted a costume that cosplayers were able to mimic, something that they were able to copy um, without going too elaborate. The tweed jacket, braces, a pretty basic shirt that's quite easy to replicate and yeah but matt smith he a very good costume but i do also think that sort of fell into the jnt approach of this is a costume for the doctor this is the doctor's costume and also jodie whittaker especially where she basically with the exception of a different undershirt in like in uh, in praxis and one or two other stories basically wore the same costume without the duration and i honestly think that that was quite boring some of the more interesting parts of her costume were when she went for the variants like the scarf in resolution the different jacket in the haunting of validity and also the tuxedo in spyfall i think that it maybe limited jodie whittaker and the 13th doctors just have her be in that very awesome and striking costume but it, basically the same throughout the entire duration which i think was disappointing uh, people in the chat as well legend of the sea devils that's a good yeah legend of the sea devils i think that's so cool when the, she basically changes her costume for a different time period i'm making my way through the whole hartnell era now and like it's so great i think that when they go back in time they have era appropriate costumes like this from the romans like hartnell rocks this roman um this roman attire and also the scene where he's he's in the baths with emperor nero and he's just got a towel on him can you can you imagine peter capaldi doing this i think he'd be up for it but i think they'd be like no you need your peter capaldi 12th doctor costume which is a bit disappointing hartnell making sure he has tons of uh, periodic clothing yeah i think when it comes to like the Troughton era it, there's not much variance there to have a lot of costumes my guy he did yeah but it's it sort of like was building from the same framework like the same baseline on top he, he did he had way more costumes than tenant uh eccleston like i think out of all of the revived series doctors capaldi did have the most amount of um, of costumes but they still didn't stray that far what's it just looking at the john pertwee stuff like he sticks more or less with this costume 
for the duration of his first season and then it's with season eight onwards that the variants start popping in like his outfit from the green death is so much different from the one from the time warrior if i'm remembering correctly there's the costume from um terror of the autons honestly the pertwee approach is like my favorite to, to costuming where this is indisputably the doctor's outfit but this is like it's the velvet jacket it's the open buttoned shirt it's the cravats and everything yeah he, he still looks like the doctor even if he's got a different costume on green suit best it's one of my favorites sixth doctor's blue costume for big finish uh sixth doctor blue yeah i love it it looks so good obviously this is not canonical but yeah it was really with the john nathan turner era where it was like this is the doctor's costume and he has to stick with it and i think that limited everyone involved really when it comes to costuming and i don't mean to undersell the work of the doctor who costume team but like for example i've been watching red rose on the iplayer um it's recently come to netflix as well it's a young adult horror series that um uh, is set around a, a bunch of college kids in bolton uh, in north manchester and one of the installs an app on their phone and there's loads of like black mirror twilight zone stuff it's actually pretty good but for a drama like that for example they have like five or six costume changes per episode per character whereas for doctor who unless you have like time skips or through a long period of time the episode takes place it is more or less one costume per episode like not to undersell or understate the work of the costume department but doctor who is strictly speaking formatted quite differently from many other modern day tv dramas even happy valley for example will have multiple costume changes per episode because it's set over a course of multiple days multiple scenes they've got outfits from work outfits for home etc whereas i think like for doctor who this is the outfit for the saranga conundrum this is the outfit for kablam and this is the episode for, for example i'm just naming episodes off the top of my head i think it's it uh, it helps to give each episode its own sense of identity if that makes sense like i associate the time warrior so much with john pertwee's outfit like visually in my head i associate planet of the spiders so much with like john pertwee's costume you associate the zygon uh, terror of the zygons towns of wen chiang city of death with the costumes of those doctors in those respective episodes and i think that if you i'm not saying that shooting out needs a different costume per episode but it gives cosplayers a lot more options to work with. It also gives a lot more personality to the Doctor. What would he be wearing in this location? I also, I think it would be so cool if Shooter Gat were wears like period appropriate clothes. One second, let's, one of my favourite Pertwee era outfits is from Thin Ice. He, not only does he rock the top hat, but he rocks the <laughs> that's it that end sentence he rocks the top hat and you know pearl mackey is where uh, companions are basically they get the full gamut of costumes like every episode they've got a brand new costume a brand new outfit whereas the doctor with a couple of exceptions kind of sticks with the same theming and i think they should branch out from that pertwee era what did i say did i say something wrong i said pertwee era not capaldi i apologize i am tired i've been streaming for nearly two hours and i've only <laughs> this is the first topic sorry okay anyway one of my favorite one of my favorite costumes of the whole capaldi era is from thin ice because he rocks the he rocks the top hat end sentence he also punches a racist and even then he's still got a costume change he's in this he's in the underwater outfit that's a cool flattering photo isn't it <laughs> seventh doctor curse of fenric yeah, this coat wasn't part of the plan. Sylvester McCoy just didn't want to be cold on location, so he just started wearing it. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Yeah, it's during season 26 where Sylvester McCoy is wearing the darker jacket. I forgot about that until just now because I'm an idiot. So yeah, he has a Seventh Doctor outfit. Pertwee has more variants in the costume, undeniably. So yeah, this is the Seventh Doctor from season 24 five and uh, 24 and then for season 26 he wears the darker jacket and of course fans associate that with the darker change in the personality but it's just it's just cool to have variants there we go what a what a chad image <laughs> love it and yeah and of course we've got to, we've also got to remember um old doc no, new doctors in old doctor outfits that's that's something that's probably worthy of ranking at some point he, st he even wears colin baker's outfit really well i think it's a slightly modified version to fit him better because he's like a foot shorter than colin baker but 
he still wears it really well. That's actually, I think, a um, that's a tier list or a ranking waiting to happen. Doctors who look best, like the best doctors from their previous outfits. Can we have an interview with John Toffolo, Matthew Toffolo's brother? He knows his McCoy outfits. He does, yeah. I, I've I've seen the recurring joke in Review of Death, where he's he's watching the power of the Doctor and he's really annoyed at the inaccuracies of the costume. But yeah, um, Fifth Doctor, Planet of Fire. Like I am not a costume specialist, but you know, yeah, you you. I, one thing I really like about Planet of Fire is the Fifth Doctor's outfit. Like, obviously, he would be roasting in that cricket outfit. But it just, you know, it, it gives the episode its own individual identity if the lead character is approaching it differently. Maybe it's because he so rarely deviates from the JNT approach to costuming that it's so memorable. I don't know. I could be overthinking it. Um, Sixth Doctor... Uh, the two doctors. I like the fifth doctor in Tom's outfit. Yeah, that works surprisingly well. Yeah, and he's got... Uh, he's able to do a lot more acting when the coat isn't upstaging him in the two doctors. He's very good in the two doctors. Two doctors part one. So in, in the two doctors, he's wearing his normal outfit at the beginning of the episode. That was what I wanted to clarify. Yeah, so he's even on the spaceship. He's still got it on. When does it change? Is in part so either way he starts the episode in this in the normal outfit, and then by the by the second episode he's changed. Yeah, I think it's a part as if you've. I'm. So, I I mean no dis. I mean this like sincerely with admiration that you remember the costume changes in the two doctors of all stories. A mid-story costume change. Here we go. Like so, he's midway and he's got that costume on. A mid-story costume change for Doctor Who is incredibly rare. I might be overstating it with the, with by saying incredibly rare. For the classic series it absolutely is. For the revival probably less so if you count like oh now he's wearing the spacesuit uh, and now and now she's out of the spacesuit. Yeah. So yeah, midway through part 2. So halfway through the story he wears a different costume. I I really like that. And the second Doctor fits too without the coat. Well, there's not many. Like one second, second Doctor costume. I've got like a big blind spot for many Trousen stories. Are there many variants of the second Doctor's outfit? Of course, there's like this main one. This is I think from Power of the Daleks. So the oversized coat, the the trousers that are really high up, the bow tie, the blue shirt. Is that a waistcoat underneath? I think it is. But yeah, there's really not much variance. Maybe a different color. Obviously, it's in black and white, so it's a bit tougher to see. Planet of the Daleks changes out at the start of the story. Very tr yes, he does. Yes, you'd have to put maybe like an asterisk next to it because it's a it's a cliffhanger from Frontier in space. So he changes costume, but it's a new story. If that makes sense, he's got um he's got basically the same outfit in the three Doctors as well. He has the yeah he has the hat. Um, which is. In the 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 big finished uh, audio drama, the Dark Star, which takes place early in the Second Doctor's life because he's still with Ben and Polly, uh, they mention that he loses his hat at the beginning of the story. He's wearing it at the TARDIS console. There's some turbulence interference, and he's been jostled around, and the hat falls off. And presumably, that's why he never wears it again. Fur yes, that's Doctor. That is a great example. The fur coat from the Five Doctors and the Abominable Snowmen. I, that's such like a memorable image and it's because he hardly changes his costume that it sticks out there are benefits to both i guess because it is so memorable that he's changed his outfit he's in the himalayas and the abominable snowman so he, he has the big fur coat on and he wears it again in the five doctors honestly still like the idea of having these multiple variants i think there's no wrong way to do it i do have a preference though i have a i prefer the john pertwee approach i prefer the Capaldi approach, but I still think they could have deviated further for uh, for the twelfth Doctor. Like, yes, there are variants, more or less every season as well. If like the Red Velvet, what f what episode was this from? What episode was the he he's wearing the Red Velvet in Heaven Sent? What's these? What are these location images from? Chat, do you know? Nearly every episode. I don't remember it being nearly every episode for Capaldi. Like, I I I'm. Out of the revival, I've not watched, like, rewatched as much Capaldi as I have other Doctors. Yeah, like, even in the, in Robot of Sherwood. Face the, okay, Face the Raven, very cool. 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because he goes from face the raven to heaven sent. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, stuff like that I completely get when one story goes into another. They don't have time for a costume change. The only reason he changes his costume in the Romans, uh, the Heart and Lyra story, is because once that story opens, we cut to, like, a month later. But, yeah, the Red Velvet one is, is really cool. This one as well. Yeah, I need to... At some point, I will... I'll get in touch with, like, Don Martin or somebody else who really knows their stuff about Doctor Who costumes and be like, hey, can you tell me what <laughs> what all of the costumes are, please, so I can make a video? What's this one from? This is from The Caretaker? What's this gift from? I think that's The Caretaker. Kill the Moon? One second. Oh, Doctor Who, Kill the Moon outfit. Because he's got the spacesuit. Yeah, okay, Kill the Moon. Kill the Moon and Caretaker? I don't know. I don't... Rem These images obviously show otherwise, but I've watched this scene so many times, I don't remember the polka dot shirt. Anyway, uh, Doctor Who, Caretaker. Obviously, he, yeah. Okay, I think I've discovered over the course of this segment that he's wearing way more costumes than I remembered. I knew he had variants, of course, but... He had a lot of it. Okay, yeah, I like the Pertwee and the John... The the Peter Pertwee, the John Cap Capaldi approach. I am losing my brain. I want this action figure. This this doctor has, has seen some shit. Eleven's purple coat. Um, yeah, yeah, because... One second. Doctor Who, 11th Doctor. Out of, so, as, when I remember the... 11th doctor so he's got in a broad sense so he's got the tweed jacket he has the coat from series six and he's got the the purple jacket for series seven part two he does also frequently wear the tweed in series six and series seven part one it's a good outfit but i think that we need more 11th doctor variants those are broadly speaking the three costumes from the Matt Smith era. Is there any other... Like, he wears the astronaut suit in Hyde. The snowman outfit is Matt's best. I really like it, but I also think that's because... Like, in just normal images, I'm not too fussed about it. But when I see it in motion, I love it. Oh, yeah, and is this a completely different outfit for the snowman? Yeah, he looks very good in that one. Yeah, in the snowman, and then he's got a different outfit in the Bells of St. John. It's all coming back to me now. How to cosplay as the 11th Doctor. There we go. I think that's a Don Martin video. Yeah, Who Chaser. There we go. I, I might need to reach out to Who Chaser and be like, hey, can you tell me every Capaldi variant? And <laughs> and my audience is very knowledgeable and finicky. Please do not skimp on the details. <laughs> Count any alterations, because they will know. Dom the Goat. Very true. I think he was at Gallifrey 1 as well um, this past week for the Big Finish panel.